Hello, you absolute legends. By this point, we all know that Billy Mitchell cheated at Donkey Kong. But if there is one thing the current ongoing lawsuits have shown us, it's that Billy is so much more than just a cheater. Billy is not just willing to lie about video game high scores, he is willing to lie about everything to everyone, even the judicial system. In previous videos, I've spoken about the crazy things Billy has done in his lawsuit against Twin Galaxies. He has fabricated evidence, committed perjury during his deposition, and submitted false statements on behalf of witnesses. In fact, Billy has lied so much and so many times that it's going to take years for me to cover them all. Billy's actions are bordering on criminal, and now Twin Galaxies is going on the attack. In a recent motion, the lawyer for Twin Galaxies is seeking termination of Billy's lawsuit and $81,000 in sanctions due to Billy's conduct. Twin Galaxies have levied some extremely serious allegations against Billy. Things are getting so bad that I genuinely believe Billy may end up in prison at some point in the future, whether it's because of his current actions or something he hasn't done quite yet. It seems like his willingness to defraud the legal system is increasing with each passing day. In today's video, we will cover the recent accusations that Twin Galaxies have made against Billy, and if these allegations are true, Billy may literally end up behind bars. On the flip side, Billy is very upset that Twin Galaxies have been helping me in my lawsuit against Billy. Obviously, both lawsuits are heavily related, and because of this, I've been able to attain certain documents through my legal team. This is pretty obvious because I've made multiple videos about them. And oh boy, is Billy pissed. And he has filed a motion trying to make everything confidential. Billy hates the truth coming out. The truth is his worst enemy. And he is trying to stop it from coming out. I really hope you enjoy. Now Legends, in this video I've partnered with Displate who offers stylish metal posters that look amazing. I think if you're passionate about something, if you love something, posters are a great way to celebrate. Personally, I am a gigantic nerd, and video games are my greatest passion, so I like to surround myself with them, and when I have posters of my favorite games on my walls, I can feel the positive energy. Displate works with the biggest brands in media, including all of your favorite game, film, and TV franchises. I mean, if you just browse these designs, you can immediately tell they look fantastic. If you are curious about some of my favorites, I've created a few collections for you to check out. You can see if you have the same taste as me. Displate's metal design looks good and is super easy to install. Plus, with the magnet mounting system, you can quickly swap and change displates anytime. Displates are very affordable and are delivered anywhere in only four to five days. Plus, if you use my link in the description or my discount code Carl, you will get a special discount of up to 40% off. If you don't have a displate yet, make sure to click the link in the description and grab one today. This recent motion from Twin Galaxies is pretty lengthy and comes with several demands, but the two we will focus on today is the demand to terminate Billy's lawsuit and the demand for monetary sanctions. Terminating the lawsuit would obviously mean that Billy's claim would be thrown out and Twin Galaxies would win. As part of this demand, Twin Galaxies cites three egregious acts of misconduct by Billy. The first is the creation of the fake plaques that I've covered in a previous video. This is the Player of the Century plaque that Billy claims was given to him by Namco. On the 26th of June, Billy sent a low-resolution image of some plaques on a table to Twin Galaxies. But it was obvious these weren't the same plaques we've seen before. Now, it's one thing to just say the plaques aren't the same, but it's a different thing entirely to prove that in a court of law. In order to prove their claim, Twin Galaxies hired a forensic expert employed by the National Center for Audio and Video Forensics. This expert has worked on literally thousands of cases, both criminal and civil. And in their expert opinion, the original plaque and the purported modified plaque are not the same object. The expert has an entire report about it, but the important takeaway is that the expert confirms and proves what we already know. Next, Twin Galaxies goes into detail about how Billy staged the discovery of the plaques and misdirected Twin Galaxies concerning the whereabouts of the plaques. Obviously, because the plaques weren't real, Billy had to create a fake story about how the plaques were found. And to make things easier for me, moving forward I will simply be referring to the lawyer of Twin Galaxies as Tash, which is just a short version of his surname. On the 6th of July, Billy's lawyer Christina Ross sent Tash an email saying that the plaques were at the Bridgeview Center in 
Iowa, and that Mr. Grunwald located them and took the photograph. This email is really, really strange. As I talked about in my video about the plaques, Twin Galaxies knew as soon as they received the photo that Triforce Johnson had them. Because in the picture, you could see a YouTube video where he had left a comment. But after Billy told Tash the plaques were at the Bridgeview Center and were found by Mr. Grunwald, this launched a wild goose chase. Twin Galaxies had to contact multiple people at the center and ask them to find the plaques. They even deposed Mr. Grunwald, who Billy's lawyer claimed found them. But in his deposition, Mr. Grunwald confirmed what we already knew, that Triforce had found the plaques. And also, Mr. Grunwald said Triforce had gotten on a plane with the plaques back in June, over a week before Billy's lawyer said that they were now at the Bridgeview Center. And here is the kicker. As part of deposing Mr. Grunwald, he provided messages between himself and Triforce. And on June 24, Triforce sent this message saying, Billy wants me to send you something. And he attached the photo of the plaques. So obviously, Billy knew that Triforce had the plaques because he literally told Triforce to send a photo of them to Mr. Grunwald. But then two weeks later, Billy and his lawyer lied and said that Mr. Grunwald found the plaques and they were somewhere else. This caused Twin Galaxies to spend tens of thousands of dollars hunting for plaques that didn't exist. And then as soon as Mr. Grunwald was deposed and said that Triforce had them, which Twin Galaxies already knew from day one, Billy's lawyer immediately confessed that Triforce had them and boarded a plane to Florida with them back in June. Florida being where Billy Mitchell lives. So not only did Billy create fake plaques, but he lied and caused tens of thousands of dollars in damages to Twin Galaxies by telling them a fake story. But here comes what is arguably the worst offense that has been laid upon Billy so far. The lies he told during his deposition. We've covered a few of these lies already in previous videos, such as Billy saying the GameStop manager installed recording equipment when that same person said they didn't do it and that recording equipment wasn't set up at all. However, these pale in comparison to this doozy. In 2014, Jace Hall, through his company HD Films, bought Twin Galaxies from Walter Day. During his deposition, Billy was asked if he received any money from the sale of Twin Galaxies, and Billy said no. Did you, did you receive any portion of the funds that uh, HD Films paid for Twin Galaxies? Actually, no. Not at all? Not at all. This question is really important because Billy is being sued for fraud. Part of the basis of the fraud claim is that Billy lied about his world records to build the brand of Twin Galaxies, including through documentaries like The King of Kong. Then, when Twin Galaxies was sold, he made money. So I guess Billy is claiming he didn't receive any money so that he can't be accused of profiting from any alleged deception. Let's hear this one more time. Did you, did you receive any portion of the funds that uh, HD Films paid for Twin Galaxies? Actually, no. Not at all? Not at all. But during Walter Day's deposition, we heard a different story. Walter said he paid Billy $33,000 from the sale of Twin Galaxies. And not only that, Walter confessed that Billy told him to keep it a secret after they were both sued for fraud. Of all of the lies Billy has told, this is by far the worst, at least in a legal sense. This is the kind of lie and attempted cover-up that may legitimately land Billy in prison. Billy is being sued for fraud and he is lying lying under oath about receiving money and at the same time telling the other defendant to lie about it as well. This is truly insane. Billy also got caught in many other very weird lies. He lied about not being a director of the International Video Game Hall of Fame, when everyone else said he was. And he's even listed on the website as a director. Are you associated with the Video Game International Video Game Hall of Fame at all? I support them however I can. And you're a director, aren't you? You're wrong. I am not a director. Have you ever been a director? No. Again, it's just hard to emphasize enough that Billy lies about literally everything, even things that make no sense or can be disproven instantly. Another weird lie is that Billy said he has never played Donkey Kong for anyone to help them run tests. During his deposition, he was asked about this and he said no. In fact, you helped Carlos in his testing, didn't you? No. Not at all? Never once? Never once. He was then shown a video of him playing Donkey Kong so that Carlos Pinheiro could run some tests. That's what's up. 
running some video tests. Okay. I mean, in this video, Carlos literally says he is doing testing and shows Billy playing for him. And Billy's response to this is just crazy. Did you hear Mr. Pinheiro saying he's conducting a video test? Um, yeah, he did. All right. Uh, did you understand that he was conducting a video test when this incident occurred? When this video was taken, you mean? Yeah, when this video yeah. was taken. You did? Mm-hmm. And you were helping him in his testing, right? No, I'm playing the game. Okay, if that helps him in his testing, then I'm happy to help him. You previously denied that you did any help for Mr. Pinheiro in his testing. Do you recall that testimony? Yes, I do. Okay. Has it changed after watching this? No. <laughs> Billy cannot admit anything. It's a total clown show. Now at the same time that Twin Galaxies is throwing these allegations at Billy, Billy is trying to make everything confidential so that no one in the public can find out what's happening. In their motion, Billy's lawyers attacked Tash for providing me with documents to help in my own lawsuit. They stated, Defendant's counsel admitted to providing plaintiff's deposition transcript to Carl Jobs' attorney. Defendant and defendant's counsel did so with full knowledge that Carl Jobs and others would reproduce and post the depositions online to target plaintiff and embarrass and harass any other third-party witnesses. I mean, obviously the videos I make are very embarrassing for Billy, but I I don't post them to embarrass Billy. I make these videos to let everyone know the truth. And of course, to make money, it's my job. What's ironic is that Billy is the one that said everyone should have access to all of the information. Everything will be transparent. Everything will be available. I wish I had it in my hands right now. I wish I could hand it to you. But it's taken a considerable amount of time. Witnesses, documents, everything will be made available to you. Nothing will be withheld. You absolutely have my commitment to that. We've been at this since 1982, and it's not going to stop now. Again, Billy knows what is the correct position to have because he says it openly. He says witnesses won't be suppressed, and he says everyone will have access to everything, which is what should happen. But when push comes to shove, his actions are the complete opposite. As part of their motion to try and make everything confidential, Billy's lawyers posted screenshots of uploads, and they are hilarious. Apparently, Blastmaster uploaded Billy's deposition to BitChute. It's just so funny to me that they thought it was a good idea to post a screenshot of my video with the title, Con Man Billy Mitchell Caught Faking Evidence. You would think this would be the last thing they would want a judge to see. Do they really think this makes Billy look like a victim? Billy hates the fact that people are learning the truth. It's obviously the last thing that a con artist wants, and he will do everything he can to make sure that you know as little as possible. However, I can assure you that nothing that I post online is confidential, and there is nothing Billy can do about it. Thank you so much for watching, you legends. I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next video.